Hi everyone, my name is Lori, my nickname is Rini, and I'd like to welcome you to Rini Bobini Creations. If this is the first time you've stopped by to check out my channel, I'd like to offer you a very warm welcome. I do hope you like what you see, and if you do, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and consider sharing with your fellow crafters. It really makes a big difference to us here on the YouTube world. For all my subscribers, I'm so glad you're back. I love you guys. Um, this Today's craft has been a long time coming actually. I was given a cabinet, oh, a couple of years ago and I always knew what I wanted to do with it, but just finding the time to actually sit down and get it done. So that's what we're doing this weekend. I hope this is going to be what it looks like when we're all done. And it's just, it looks so good on my deck. I don't think the pictures actually do it really justice. But I hope it inspires you for some kind of makeover from one of your things or, or an upcycle. So let me stop yakking at ya and we'll get on with the crafting. So guys, I got this cabinet uh, given to me actually. Uh, someone was just getting rid of it. And I've known for quite some time what I wanted to do with it, but it's finally made the top of that list. So I'm gonna go ahead, empty it out get it sanded. Now I'll wait till you see what I have in mind for it. So once it's all sanded, I will come back to you and we'll go from there. Okay everyone, so this is my awesome husband Steve and he is helping me do the sanding and then we decided it did need to be stripped so he's doing that part for me too because I was just running out of time in my day so he's wonderful. Hi guys, so it's an absolutely beautiful day here and I know you can hear the neighbors lawnmowers and stuff but uh, I don't think I'm going to get around that today. So my wonderful husband, huge thank you to him, he sanded and prepared this for me. Now originally our plan was just to scuff it for paint but as we he started doing it he saw there was quite a few layers on the outside. Now you see on the inside he did just scuff it because the inside didn't have so many layers of paint but he did put a stripper on this and we took all the paint off the outside pretty much and so now it's ready for a new coat of paint so I am just simply using just a plain white um, indoor paint I can't even see who it's from here because it's all covered in paint it's just a white paint I had at home uh, originally because I'm doing it outside I was thinking of using a marine paint, but I found on another project that when I went to do some of the other fancy stuff I wanted to do on it, it reacted to it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to give it a good seal coat. So yeah, just um, if you're doing something similar to this, just good old house paint is just fine. So I'm going to get on with the painting of it and we will... Uh, get to our next step coming up. Okay, so here it is with one coat of paint on there. I did not paint the inside of the cabinet doors because I'm going to do something different with those. I am definitely going to give it another coat of paint. Uh, there's the drawer. Now the one thing I did want to mention with the drawer is that the sides are painted too and for what I'm doing you're going to want to do that. Now if you choose not to do the technique or the thing that I show you later that's fine you can leave them but because I'm going to have them showing a little bit I will paint both ends and then we'll so once I've got both coats on and everything's looking good we'll come back and move on. Okay, so I've got two good coats on there of the white. Uh, the part you see that's still yellow, I am doing something different with that, so that was intentional. And same with the drawer. Now with the drawer, I didn't, I did the sides. So yeah, I'm gonna put a drawer liner in there, and so I just cleaned it up, but it wasn't a perfect job, because like I said, I'm just gonna put that vinyl in the inside so it's easier for cleaning. I am gonna let it dry overnight. I don't wanna take the risk that the painter's tape for my next part peels any of the tape off because I'm impatient so um, I'm gonna let it dry good and dry overnight and then we'll move on to the next step okay guys so I've got a good couple of coats of white paint on but now I wanted to start putting some stripes in the back of the cabinet now if I were to 
Uh, if I were making this to sell, I would take the doors off to do that properly. Um, I would take the shelf out, but it's old and I don't want the wood to split and it's just for me on my deck, so I'm not going to worry about it. So anyway, to do the stripes, now again, something if I were going to sell it, I would start in the middle and work my way out, but I'm having trouble with that today, so um, <laughs> we're not doing that. We're going to start on the one side on the straight edge. We're going to put a piece of tape and then use the tape. Now my tape is just shy of two inches. And then we're going to use that tape as our guide, much like if you've ever done the buffalo check and you use your tape as your sort of ruler. That's the same thing we're going to do, only we're only going one way, we're doing stripes. So. I'm just going to carry on doing that all the way across and I am going to do it to the top and bottom and hopefully they're straight enough that they look like they go all the way down and they're not sectioned but I'm not going to worry too much if they are. Alright, so just using the acrylic paint, just from the Dollarama in the red. This one is called Deep Red. And the roller brush and tray that I got at Dollarama as well. I'm just going to go in and paint this time. Okay, so I'm just going to get a, another brush and touch it up, and then I will uh, we'll move on to the next bit here. Actually, I won't make you painfully watch that again. I'll do the same thing underneath um, as I did on the top, but with those stripes. And then we'll come back and go on to the second part. So I decided to do the side of the drawers as well with the red stripes. Now, of course, when it's post, you won't see it, but I kind of like that look. So I just take them off exactly the same way and uh, we'll give them a cut, coat of paint. Just wait for the last of my stripes to dry. Um, there's a couple of little spots where they bled through more than I am okay with, so I will touch those up. And then I'll come back and we'll go on to the next step. Okay guys, so we got her almost put back together. Just need to put the knobs on and the drawer back in. So my awesome husband helped me put the windows back in. I've given them a good cleaning. Um, so now this is the part I've actually really been looking forward to doing. So I have made some seed glass. Now I kept trying to get it at the dollar store, but I couldn't find it at my dollar store all year. So I did get this off of Amazon. Uh, you get a lot for your money through Amazon and some colors you don't get at the, the dollar store as well. So, but either, like I kept looking and looking and they just never had them in. So I had to finally resort to that before I started my project here. So you can see my glass is broken and I was okay with that because of what I'm about to do here. So I think this will just sort of take it up another notch. Um, my, my deck is in a nautical theme, so this is gonna be just perfect for it. 
So I am just going to run a line or two of sea glass across my window and maybe in the corners. We're just going to see how it looks. And I have me a brand new package of E6000. Happiness is having new E6000, I'm sure of it. So I'm just going to play around with the glass till I find a pattern I'm happy with. Um, I need to get a to dump some in here so I can see what I'm working with. And we'll just, you can see I've got greens and blues and the browns and I really love all this cloth and it's gonna last me a long time. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and start mucking with my thing and I'm gonna lay it out first. And then once I'm happy with the layout, then I'll go ahead and, and start gluing it down with the E6000. So I've got all my pieces laid out now. Uh, I'm going to do the four corners here. And I'm now I'm just taking my E6000 and I'm just going to start gluing them down. So I've got them all glued on now. I'm really quite pleased with the way it looks. Um, so as soon as they're dry, I'll stand her up, get the knobs all put back on, and show you the finished product. So this is it all finished up, guys. I really like the way it turned out. I wish the pictures did it a little more justice, but I hope you like it too.